I love you will walk to another edition of the Shawn's Two Cents. Here my review of AIW's Girls Night Out 11 and 12. The latest releases from AIW from Smart Mart Video. They're on they're available on Blu-ray, MP4, and DV, so whatever you want to buy it on. Also VOD. This is my first time wondering the Girls Night Out series. That's why I delve on it because I've been watching AIW for the past year now. And I've bought every show but Girls Night Out, so I decided, what the hell? I'll try Girls Night Out. I like AIW, I trust them, and I wasn't disappointed. Awesome shows. Because you have that feeling when women's shows that they're not going to be that good. Because the, the perception is women are not as good as the men. But these women proved it. They went all out on these two shows. It, they're excellent shows. $23 for both. And before, that's an excellent deal. You get a lot of good matches. Four hours of action. And some really good matches that are four-star matches. Matches that I really enjoyed. That will be on some of my top matches of the year. So let's go to the list of matches. We, we started with Jasmine versus Angela Lane. I love Angela Lane. She's from the Midwest. Got a nice alternative look. And Jasmine, a nice young, spark, uh, spunky girl from like the Midwest. I think the local area, Ohio area. Nice open match. Jasmine got the upset win. I liked her a lot this weekend. One that got people to look out for. They had Thunder Creek versus Marty Bell. I really like Marty Bell this weekend. She's a lot of good kicks. I like her personality, the hairspray and stuff. And I like Thunder Creek's giving too. I never said Tina Burrow's original. I like that she's doing her thing in the West. Thunder Creek got the win. Then Sassy Steffi beat Kalia. Don't remember much of this match. I watched it yesterday. Not remember how Sassy got the win. I really like her promo skills. The promo promos at the beginning weren't that good. Women are not that good at promos. So that was kind of thing. Then Kimberly Lee plays tonight in an awesome match. Really good. These two win all out. Two of the best women's outfits there is. Kimberly Lee's at the top of their game right now. Kimberly Lee's really up there. I love watching her matches. Every time she's out there, there's a man or a woman, she's outstanding. And I had the Huntress. How Huntress, her, this gimmick is a shitload better than Saturday. And she's really herself in this gimmick. And she really killed it. Where girls are now, they can really have to win. But Naya looks really good this time. They would face Nikki Storm versus Angel Dust. Nikki Storm looked good. She's from Scotland. Really good. Shit out of Angel Dust. Really looked good. Really looked strong. She got the win. What really want to see more Nikki Storm. Then Mitch Scott says, Katie Lee Ray made her debut. Another person from Scotland. Really impressed with her this weekend. Really tough chick. Really, really, really impressed. These Scottish chicks can kick some ass. And Vita Scott had some of the best matches I've seen her have in a long time. And she's so over now. And I like no great ground bullshit. This is her wrestling. I really enjoy that. Vita Scott gets the win. Then in a decent tag team match, Andy Social Honey Lovelace, the show forever, beats Sleazy Sparks and Jay Rose. I like Sleazy Sparks. I think she's a nice time to come. I think she has a good, good future ahead of her. The twerk spot was really nice. That's really funny right there. Then we had, I think the match of the night, we had Athena vs. Medium, which is a must-see. Athena Medium and Kimberly Hanaya, the Hound Hunters, those matches are solid. That, those are two reasons right there to buy the show. This match is outstanding. You've got to see it. It made Athena look like a goddamn star. Athena gets the win with the O-Face. Awesome maneuver. I guess this was taped earlier, taped later in the day. It was added to Girls Night Out 11. Then we go to the second show, Girls Night Out 12. Thunder Creek is fantastic. In an all right match, Thunder Creek gets the win. Then in a four way between Angelus, Marty Bell, Kaylee, and Angelus Lane, Angelus was the win. Very slow four way. It's not like the four ways you should have with the AW men. It was very slow paced. It went a little longer than what it should have. Angelus got the win. Then, then the show really got started, really got going. The first couple matches were all right. Nothing special there. But then Kaylee Ray faced Kimberly in an awesome match. Really a star making performance here for Kaylee Ray. Stateside. I think she wrestled for Simmer 62, which I'll check out soon, and the review will be going there. She looked awesome and had up so much Kimberly. This match was non stop hitting from the beginning. Really good. The Nikki Storm and Sanaya, a great, good match right there. Nikki Storm is really one of the best right now. Nikki Storm get, got the win. Nikki Storm, very impressive this weekend. I wonder if you want to see more of her. Vita Scott faced Leo on Dutch. Awesome match. Really like Vita Scott's mean streak. Just going right after it and stuff. Me and face Jasmine. Jasmine, I didn't think this match would be nothing, but Jasmine really showed up and as a rookie, really went well and really impressed me going one on one me against probably one of the top uh, women's wrestlers right now. And I'm going to go see more Jasmine see see where she goes out. So then we had Celia Sparks face Ginger Rose in a hard hitting matchup. Celia Sparks gets the win. Then we had the Jollyville Fuckets face uh, the Social Network for Native and Tactiles. 
Nice comedy to start with. Start out with. We enjoyed the comedy spots. Very entertaining. Then the match got pretty good. It was very nice, but didn't finish the match, but really impressed. But men versus women, you don't know how it's going to be, but the tag match really worked. Tommy the Fuckers get the win. Then Allison K puts the open challenge for a women's title, which she won the night before. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Allison K won the main events of night one, beating Lamar Dutch to get an undisputed women's champion in our match. It was only 10 minutes, so Allison K got the win. So that leads us to the main event of night 12, Frozen uh, Out 12. The interface, I mean, Allison K put out the challenge. The interface chal uh, answered it. He said she wanted to be no holds barred, no qualifications. They went all over the place in a great no, no hardcore match. Athena got the win with a table spot. Athena's your new IW Women's Champion. Really starting performance for this weekend. Uh, two awesome shows for $11.99 each. They're, they're available on Blu-ray, MP4, VOD, DVD, whatever you want. They're available. So I say go buy them. They're two great shows. I think the match of the weekend was me and Athena. That was the free, that was one of the best matches I've seen. Because Athena versus the Fist of Davies Mutiny. I don't know which one's better. It's hard to say. But really impressive girls out. I will check some more girls out too. So, as always, support you at every wrestling with I had to wrestling dot com. And a shout yeah. So uh, what else we got here? Opted plugs. Support the show. Buy a shirt, man. We haven't sold a shirt this month, so come on, support. These all shirt sales. Go to buy more shows. Review more shows. Help in the show. Keep the show going. It's a one man operation. I need your fans help. God, people. I'm not begging you. Just asking. Please buy a shirt. Help out. If you be, be so kind, follow me on Twitter at the Sean Sense. You see all my live tweeting. If I tweet about maps, it's really good because I don't get my phone to tweet for a match unless I think it's good. So, and then uh, follow me on Facebook, Sean Sense. Sean Scoble, you can always message me and stuff about wrestling. Always free talk. So, check out my reviews and subscribe for all my reviews, news, everything you want. And check out the Bryce is, is Right, Bryce Wimmer shirt. Follow Bryce Rubber on Twitter, you can get a shirt. So, peace.